maybe through here <clears throat> while I get the camera ready. I'm gonna do the I'm gonna film then also do the live so we can watch the unboxing. Um here's my camera. I'm gonna try to do this multi-tag situation. Oh, um, let's see here. Hopefully it still comes out good in the camera. So I'm gonna go ahead and film you guys for a bit so you guys can see first hi guys welcome back to my channel i'm also doing a live right now uh currently there's no one online oh excuse me there's two people so i'm doing um a live right now but i'm also gonna film my live i don't know if that makes sense christine is here karine beauty lab is here welcome you guys i'm gonna go ahead and do oh my god my mouth is dirty but let's go ahead and do this oh my god i'm so nervous you guys let me go ahead and fix this little situation oops still cricket hi guys we're gonna do the unboxing together. Uh, I'm gonna do multitask here. I have my camera here filming me um, at the same time. Oh my god, I'm so excited, you guys! Ooh, it's too dark. They're a little brata. Oh my god, I'm so excited. Okay, <clears throat> sorry guys, I just finished eating a little bit of beans. My mom made like a bean soup. So I just finished eating that. Uh, why does this look so bad? Okay, so I'm gonna try to do a little situation here. It's a little too high here, so. Oof. Trying to fix the camera, so give me a little second. Hey, Yuli, you're live? Yes, I am, you guys. This is a live. Hey, Queen. Hey, love. Love your makeup. Thank you. Hi, Amira. Hi, Kareen. Hi, LED. Hi, Branded. Hi, Tiffany. Hi, Karina Beauty Labs. <laughs> Hi, everyone. <laughs> All right. Um, I'm fixing the camera, so just give me one second because it looks really weird. I think because it's not in the middle, so let me see. Let me see if I can do this really quick. All right, guys, so the camera looks better when it's, oh, my God, when it's, like, right in front of me. So I must see if I can do this together. It's going to be a little bit in the corner here. Is this still good? All right. <laughs> I'm so excited. I'm so excited. And I just can't hide it. So here's the box, you guys. Oh, no, what happened? Oh, I think I did. It wasn't filming. Girl. Alright guys, hi guys, so I'm filming a video, but at the same time, I'm doing a live right here in front of us. If you guys have not seen the last videos and the, obviously the other updates, I have purchased a Pepeon 30 through Mikari. And if you don't know what I'm talking about, go ahead and check out my other lives and my other videos. But it's a very exciting day. I finally got my Pepeon after a week. So go. Ahead, I'm going to go ahead and say hi you guys. I am in a live right now. Um, <clears throat> I'm such a coach, girl. Hey Yuli, you're live. Hello. Uh, Christian, I love your makeup today. I'm so excited too. Thank you, Christine. So, I've been rocking a nice makeup today. I, I already told you guys my makeup was going to be super complimentary today because when I went to work, everybody was just, oh my God, I love your makeup, I love your makeup. All right, let's get up with the video. Um, You guys, before I start the video, welcome back to my channel. Um, If you guys don't know, I do back reviews as you guys see in the background. If you have, if you like any of that such go ahead and subscribe to my channel right over here go ahead and hit the like button go ahead and comment down below if you like my bag or you just hate it what do you think of it you know what i'm saying so i'm very very scared because i feel like it might be fake so yeah so <laughs> let's move on oh my god this nose about to fall off you guys anyways um okay so we have the little blade right here little blade little blade doing it twice but less i love your makeup i'm so excited okay we got 14 people it's not a lot of people but i'm very excited so this is the package and it came in a big box no way my battery's dying <sighs> we'll see how long the video lasts but my video is dying this is just the unboxing then i'm gonna finish this so let's go ahead and unbox this really really quick before my battery dies girl i'm so scared 
this girl printed it out herself as you guys can see i'm not going to show you because the address a good intro oh thank you thank you thank you all right so we are unboxing it um we'll see how long my video lasts through the uh, camera because the camera is about to die i swear i knew that was gonna happen oh my god you guys I'm so scared i feel like it's a fake bag you guys all right <laughs> oh my god it's bad you guys it's fake i'm no, just kidding i don't know oh my god it's so cute oh i feel like my camera's gonna die You guys, it's so cute. <laughs> you guys. It's real. I can tell it feels really, really real. It is very damaged, obviously. Look at the handles. They're very, very torn. Oh, she left a little note. It says... Thank you. Hope you adore your new vintage bag with heart. Oh, that's so nice. That's a cute little gesture. So, wow, so cute. So, you guys, this is a video. I mean, this is a video. I'm so excited. This is a little duffel bag um, in Louis Vuitton. Um, it does look very, very real. It, you can see all the damage it has. As you guys can see right here at the front part, it hopefully zooms in. It feels the same as my actual Speedy 25. So I think we can say it's real. Um, no one's commenting anything. So what's going on with the live? I'm not seeing anything. So we can tell that it's real right away and i'm gonna tell you why i think it's the color of the leather and also feels very very squishy it does not feel stiff only this part of the bag does feel stiff but i think this is the shape that it has it's like a little barrel and then this side as well hopefully you guys can see that so it's very very shapey let's check out the inside so i can tell it's very very worn by the handles obviously let's check out the handles look how torn they are oh she didn't take care of it how can some i think she grabbed it so much like this so you can tell she her favorite way to carry the bag was like this i don't know i thought it was gonna fit over my shoulder but it doesn't fit over my shoulder but it's so cute you're making me want to get one. I like it. It's a cute bag. It's cute, right? <laughs> it's bigger than I thought. I actually thought it was going to be little. Okay, you can definitely tell it's real. Look at that. You see the little Louis Vuitton here part right here? You can tell it's very, very worn out, but it does have the little LV there. Let's go ahead and check out the inside of the bag. Oh, okay. She did fill it up with a lot of stuffing. I like it. It's a cute bag. It's cute. So, she did stuff it with this stuff. What I noticed when she took pictures of the bag, the inside was actually pretty good. It just... I can't really tell. I can't even really tell. Hmm... It is in very good condition. It does have a little thing. Like, it seems that it was supposed to have a little key in here, but it does not have it. How much was it? It's pretty beat up. It was $132. I don't think it's that beat up, to be honest. The bag itself is perfectly fine. Like I said, only the handles are bad. But, what's it called? I wanted to check the numeration, but I don't have a freaking, uh, what's it called? It does smell like Louis Vuitton, though. I'm not going to tell you that. Because I wanted to check out the... Where's the number? That's what I'm trying to see. It's so hard to see. Uh, I need a flashlight. I would usually use my phone. But I can't see... Oh, it says... Louis Vuitton. 
trying to see. It is. It does have the LV upside down, just like my Speedy, because it. You already know Louis Vuitton uses a one, sh one canvas, you know, situation, <laughs> but in general, the whole bag is perfectly fine. It's just the handles that are bad. The zipper is definitely beat up, definitely scraped and stuff like that. But it does have the LB as my Louis, as my Speedy 25. I'm trying to find the number because it's a vintage bag, so it doesn't have nothing that says, you know, Louis Vuitton, anything. So I'm trying to find it, but I got a, I need a flashlight, you guys. Let me change the camera. But yeah, you guys, so far this, ooh, what was that? Oh, it was this little thing. So far, the bag looks like this. it's a very cute little duffel bag. Very, very cute. We have a circular shape, and it does have a one canvas, as you guys see right here. It's regular LV. goes around. It's upside down. It will be just like the Speedy 25. Um, It does have a beautiful shape. The handles are definitely beat up. So I don't think if this was a fake bag, I don't think the handles would be this, this beat up. So, you know, like you can tell. I'm just trying to see where it has the, um, you can tell it's very aged. So, I don't know. I feel like it is real. But I need to find the little thing. Oh, my camera died. Hold on. Let me, let me put you guys here for a second. So, my camera died. So, I'm going to have to go and look what she said. Louis Vuitton can repair the handles. What she said. Hello, hello. Hi, how are you? Okay, not bad. So, I'm going to leave the little Louis Vuitton bag right here. So y'all can admire her. I'm trying to get another battery, you guys. Sorry. I really want to see the inside to see where is the logo because i don't see anything like do the vintage ones don't have any logo or what I'm just trying to see here but i can't really see anything Ugh. everyone everybody left Okay, this is the brightest I can go. I'm trying to see where it is because I checked on YouTube and it says it's really hidden. The serial number is very, very hidden. So I'm trying to see where it is. I can. Oh my God, it is real! I found it, you guys! It's right here. Oh my God, you can't even see it. It's very, because I checked on Google to see where it is to find out if it's real. It has the number hidden right here. Oh my god, you can't see it. Do you? Oh my god, you can't see it. Oh my god. Oh my god, I, I turned it off. Look, you guys. Look, oh my god, you can't even. Can you see? Can you see it? Louis Vuitton made in Paris, right here. Labeled and stamped, girl. It's labeled and stamped. It's actually real. Oh my god. It's very hidden. Like, it's very, very hidden. Louis Vuitton Paris made in France. Louis Vuitton and everything's capital. Like, you know what I'm saying? And the serial number is right here. Like it said in the picture. Oh my god. <laughs> it's real, you guys. Oh my god. That's so cool. Okay. It's very rough. But it's a real bag, you guys. Oh my god. So let's go ahead and take these off. Take a little handle here. Whoops. Come back to us. Oh, okay, see you now. Sorry, guys. I can see it. Hi, finally caught a life. I love your reviews and your spirit. Thank you. So I'm going to go ahead and hide the bad handles with this cute little scarf. Uh, we're going to go ahead and fold this like this. I can do a live and also do this video. It's just too much, you guys. So I'm going to go ahead and just fix this up a bit. Hold on. Like 
that. Oh, my God, that's so exciting. It's real. Oh, wow, you guys. That was such a steal. I know there was someone here earlier who's telling me that I pay too much for a beat up bag. You know how much Louis Vuittons are, and I pay $132 for this bag. Well, it was $190, but I had, like, credit for my other bag that I sold. So, you guys, this, that's just, wow, that was so cheap. Hi, finally caught a live. I just wanted to say I love your videos. Hi, Yuli. Hi, Tiffany. That's a good idea. Actually, one of you guys told me about it, so that's why I'm doing it. But I don't know if it's going to work because it's kind of long. I think I'm just going to do it, like, right here where the damage handles is. Let's see if that works. That's a good idea. I'm so happy it's real. Oh my god, I can't believe it. Did you guys see when I showed you guys the inside? I was like, wow. That is crazy. I cannot believe it. I'm like so stoked. You know, I had a dream that my bag wasn't going to be real. And then I was going to be like crying and stuff. That's a great idea for Louis Vuitton. Oh my god, I don't know what's going on with the messages. I'm not seeing your messages. It just keeps showing me the old ones. that's crazy and this is actually made in france because my speedy 25 somewhere around here she was made in uh what's it called what was she made she was made in uh usa <laughs> sorry i'm a little speechless i think i did it too kind of weird hold on let me move this a little bit more on the side here. Wow, that's so crazy. So happy for you. Happy you got your bag. I've been, like, dreaming about this, you guys. That's how much I kind of get, like, you know, super uh, excited and stuff. I ordered some handles, but I don't think it's going to match because... Uh, the handles that I bought are black, black with gold. But I kind of do want to do it because the handles are pretty big. Spain, France, or USA. Happy you got your bag. That's a great idea for Louis Vuitton. You can just get the straps replaced. I can, but I don't want to. <laughs> it's going to be like a lot of, a lot of money. I'm going to show you right now. I'm going to put the other one. I have two. The good thing I have two of them. I had two of them. What happened to the other one? I had two scarves, you guys. I don't know what happened to the other one. What happened to the other one? I'm going to go to... Um, what's it called? I'm going to go to uh, Coach Outlet this Saturday. So I can um, buy a uh, brown scarf. Because I want brown. I just feel like it looks so cute. You just can't get the shirt face. A lot of people prefer the Louis Vuitton to be made in France. That's true. It says that it's just better quality. I don't know. My Speedy 25. It's first, my Alma BB that I got first was made in France. And that's why when I got it, I was very happy. But when I got my Speedy 25 Bandelier, they did not have made in France. They only had made in USA. So I kind of just kept it. I didn't have issues. If, if I'm completely honest, the Speedy 25 that I got made in France had like weird different texture compared to the one in USA. So I think I prefer when it's USA for some reason. I feel like they make them better. I don't know. I don't know if I'm tripping, but. Okay. Just trying to do this really good. That's so cool, you guys. I can't believe I got a real one. I thought it was fake. A lot of you guys were making me feel like it was fake. More people. Okay. All right. So the handles are kind of big, so they don't go all around. But the main issue was to cover the damaged straps, okay? So it looks kind of weird. Sorry. It looks kind of funny because they don't go all the way down because it's kind of too, like, uh, what's it called? It's kind of too, what's it called? 
they're too short. A lot of <laughs> Look how cute that is. Woohoo! Yay, I'm so excited for you. That's so cute. Look at that, you guys. It's so adorable. It's so cute. The zipper is very rough. I'm not gonna lie. It's a very beat up. Like, wow. But you can tell that back then they used to make them way better. Like, she actually took care of it because the inside is very impeccable. Like, it doesn't have that many scratches at all. It's just like a brown canvas. It looks really, really nice. Like, it's actually a very, very cute bag. Like a cute little duffel bag. It's bigger than I thought because I actually thought it was going to be way smaller. And it's bigger than I thought. Oh, here's my other scarf. Ooh, let's add the little charm from my Louis Vuitton. looks cute with the scarf so we're gonna add this little cute little thing where's the front part of the bag okay right here i think it's gonna fit in here no look at that <laughs> so cute i like it Obviously, it's going to be meant to be carried like this because obviously it does not fit over my arm. I kind of wanted a shoulder bag, but it's shorter than I thought. So it didn't, it's not going to work out for that. But just to have it like this, have it like that. Hi, guys. Woohoo. It's tiny. So cute. It's the same shape as your coach bag at the top shelf. Yes. But this one's way bigger. This was a little barrel right here. You see right here? Little barrel. And this is like way bigger. so cute brown i'm wearing brown nice yeah i can't believe i wow i'm so excited this is so crazy well it has this little thing i need to cut this off the girl left this note thank you it says thank you hope you adore your new vintage bag heart emoji that girl was really nice i'm surprised because you know i kind of had a feeling it was real because she did she didn't have other bags in in her in her account she just had this one bag that was literally it very vintage you can cross body okay let's let's look at the straps that i bought The straps are at you guys. I'm trying to look for the straps that I bought. I'm so sorry. What did I do with the straps? Hmm. Don't look for the straps you guys i don't know what i did with them <sighs> what did i do with the straps i had left them here you guys i don't know what happened to the straps that i bought Guys, I lost the straps that I have bought for my bag. I don't know where they are. Mm -hmm. 
What did I do with the straps? You guys, I don't know what I did with the straps. I can't find them. Good night, everyone. Whoever's going to sleep. Oh, what is that? What did I do with it, you guys? I don't know where it is. What did I do with them? They're just lost. What did I do with them? Oh my god, I'm gonna go crazy. Where are they? What the hell? You guys, I'm gonna go crazy. I'm gonna go crazy. I can't find my stuff. Let me go ahead and shake all of this up. So I remember I put it in my couch and now it's gone. That's so crazy, you guys. It's gone. I can't find it. <laughs> no. Guys, I lost it. <sighs> what did I do with it? Maybe I put it somewhere in these bags. Sometimes I feel like I hide my stuff in here. So let's see. Maybe it is in here. No. Oh, dang it. What the hell did I do with that? I have a strap in here. Maybe I could use this. Oh, it's pink. Never mind. I'll do it here. Maybe we could add a chain, perhaps. This is so crazy. I invested to buy some straps. They were cheap, but still, you know, I wanted to use them. Now it's like they're gone. Actually, let me get this up here. Thank you. This one here. 
So I don't know what happened with the straps. Either way, they're not gonna match because the straps are black with gold. But oh God, <laughs> trying to little gold here. Let's see if it's gonna do anything. I don't know if it's gonna do anything. Maybe you could use like the Alma BB and just put it on the side. Or I could hang it this side. Ooh, excuse me. It's gonna look weird though as a crossbody, won't you think? <laughs> no, it doesn't make sense, you guys, as a crossbody. Yep, this doesn't make sense, so. I think I'm not going to use it as a crossbody. I hate crossbodies anyways, but I just thought maybe, maybe I could. I don't know where to put this thing. Ugh. So yeah, I think I'm just going to leave it like that. I'm going to look for the, oops, for the straps that I had per... I can't believe I lost him, you guys. I feel like there's someone around here. Like, I feel... Oh, I'm so mad. Straps, where are you, straps? Straps, straps. <laughs> I lost him, you guys. Hi, doll. Hi, how are you? Yeah, that's true, very true, Terry. Maybe another purse and another bed. Oh, what about inside the paper Louis Vuitton bag? It's not, I, I had it in my couch, you guys. I bought the straps, they're shoulder bag straps, literally for shoulder. And I got the package two days ago and I left it in my couch because I was like, I don't want to lose it. I did want to go wash, so I washed my couch, a little blanket and also the pillow. So what did I do with the straps? <sighs> or like my Latina moms look in the stash of plastic bags, mom say, girl, Wowza, your eyes are beautiful. Thank you. So we're going to add this to... I'm just going to add a bunch of accessories, girl. This one doesn't fit. It's very hard to accessorize it. Let me see. I feel like I can accessorize this part right here. Oh, it don't fit. Never mind. I was trying to add a little charm in here because this is kind of hard to, like, move back and forth. Oh, my God. Oh, wrong side. I'm going to be accessorizing the shit out of this bag. Because it's just so, so cute. <gasps> so cute. Look at that. It's either one or the other. I don't think both can look cute. White 2K, LOL. Please give thumbs up. Thank you. Ask your mom. Maybe she put them away for you. Girl, my mom knows never to touch my stuff. I have no idea where they went. <laughs> But yeah, guys, this is my unboxing. I'm going to go ahead and cut the live. Um, ask your mom. Maybe she put them away. Oh, you think? Okay, let me check. Maybe underneath my bed. Why would it be underneath my bed, though? I just wanted to show you guys the straps. <laughs> Give me one second. I, I'm going to do one last. You guys can see her here. Oops, never mind. She's going to fall down. <laughs> Now you guys can see her here a little bit. Can you see her? No? Hmm. She wants a little vision here, but... Flower charm better. Another beautiful purse added to your beautiful collection. Thank you. But I'm really, really, and really, 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 like... Wanting to find where did I put my... My strap. Where is it? Like, I feel low key, low key, low key, you guys. I feel like I did hit it somewhere in here. Let me see. I feel like I hit it in one of these bags. <gasps> Look where they weren't. <laughs> I told you I hit it somewhere. <laughs> I find them. The flowers are nice with it, right? Okay. Okay, let me do this again. Okay, I really have to film the video, you guys, because if I don't, uh, it's going to get too late. 
and then I won't be able to film anything at all. A tall, whoops. All right, let's just go ahead and do this really quick. Move you guys a little bit over here. So I could be right in front of this camera. All right, you guys. All right, guys, so the camera died and I'm still doing the live. Everybody's still here with me. Um, I actually did finish um, doing the little accessories. We're going to go ahead and show you what did I use to accessorize my bag. Um, I'm doing a live here too as well. So we're going to do a shout out moment as well. Shout out to Tiffany Marie. Shout out to Jenny Hayes. Shout out to LED. Shout out to Mummy Brown. Shout out to Terry Rocha. Jenny Hayes. I think it was LED Sakura. We got Sandy Lion. Mummy Brown uh led i think i already said that sandy line i think i already said that too sakura alicia's corner we got kareem beauty lab led i think i already said that <laughs> and everything else is repetitive jerry omo um Ar amira obviously miss amira jerry omo i think i already said that bonnie bc jp uh ta -ta 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 -ta. i think that's everyone led christine n and we have Sakura, LED, Jenny, Sandy Lion, Terry Rocha, Alma, Elizabeth. Shout out to all of those people that join my life right now. So if you guys don't know, um, I got a Papillon 30. I think I already did. It's going to be a mess. This video is going to be a mess. My battery died. I lost my straps, but I found it. So let's calm down. This bag is real. I saw the numbers, I saw the post stamp, Louis Vuitton made in France, and to my own surprise, I got this bag for $132 since I had $80 in credit from Macari. So I got this beautiful vintage duffel bag, I will say duffel bag, well, it's called Papillon 30, but this is my Papillon 30 in vintage, and she's in very good condition, actually. Um, it does seem rather beat up in the handles, but I knew that buying this bag, and I have no regrets, this bag is very beautiful and gorgeous if you guys have not noticed i added two accessories um i added my little t-rose here situation t-rose is that what it's called i don't know what it's called but i added this little t-rose i have this situation here as well i think it has to be one or the other a lot of you guys here on my live are saying that this looks better but i kind of like this little cute thing i could leave both of them i think it's kind of vibing with both as well so the handles are very bad if you want to know how the handles look, you check my live or you can see the beginning of this video if you're just tuning in to this video, um, the handles were very bad, but you guys see, I covered it with scarves. I will be going to the coach outlet this Saturday to buy brown ones because I think brown ones, the bigger ones that are going to go fully all around are going to look way, way better. So if you want to stay posted, obviously stay posted. But this is my unboxing of my Papillon 30 and I hope you guys enjoy this video. Um, I'm going to go ahead and show you little, little mug shots here and there. Because I did not do that in the beginning. I was a little distracted from the live and everybody else. Hi, I'm Elizabeth. Um, shout out to yourself, Yuli. <laughs> what a steal. Thank you. And Jenny Hay says awesome buy. This was an awesome buy. I We're going to give this a... Uh, what's it called? We're going to give it 10 out of 10. Boom, boom. And I'm going to try to put the little numbers and shout out in the screen. 10, 10, 10. We're going to give this bag a 10 out of 10. I got a real one. Stamp because it's real so i can tell it's real and i'm gonna tell you why um obviously it has the numbers and it has the louis vuitton made in france stamp as well also the fact that the stitching is the same as my speedy 25 so also another thing is the canvas gets used as a whole as you guys can see i'm gonna do a little comparison with my speedy 25 this is my speedy 25 this is a really new bag. This is eight months old. You can tell this is dirty. Honestly, I feel like if I clean it, it might look more cleaner, but the shininess of the bag is basically the same, but this is an eight month bag. You can see, you know, you can tell. The colors are very, very dark in on this one as well. But this one is a cure vachetta. This this is a raw. This vachetta is still curing. It's not even fully. Oh my god, I feel like I'm gonna drop. Hold on, let me put it back. Hold on. So I'm gonna tell you, it kind of looks like it's easier to copy a newer bag from today because you see the colors are very vibrant. Awesome buy. I want an LB now. Oh my god, girl. 
it's very very um you can tell on the camera it's actually very very real but it does look rather dirty i feel like i'm gonna clean it up with i don't know with something like a leather it does look rather dirty though like the words um this is a vintage louis vuitton so it doesn't feel like what's it called it looks very fade out actually <laughs> It does look rather fade out, but you can tell the LVs and stuff like that. But um, actually, it does look the same as the picture that I saw. So, Yezo Flower Charm is perfect. So, I'm very, very surprised. It's a real bag. It's very beat up. It's very scratched on the side. So, let's do the mug shot. Uh, this is the front part of the Louis Vuitton bag. And it does have, like, this little dark situation. I kind of want to clean it really, really bad, honestly. And this is a fake Louis Vuitton bag. So you can actually resemble. You can tell the color difference. This is a fake little Louis Vuitton little thing. And this is the real one. So you can tell that it's actually in different in color. So you can tell this is not the same as this. So this kind of has like a more darker situation, you know. And this is the side of the bag. This is the back of the bag. And this is the bottom of the bag and the other side and the handles again they're very very beat up so i covered them with um a, what's it called a scarf and this is the inside of the bag it's very very actually well taken care of um you can tell the numbers are in here again i forgot where they are i think i lost it again um where was it again louis vuitton louis vuitton i think it was on this side you guys so it's on this side you can't tell that well but it says right here, Louis Vuitton. Oh, it's very hard to put, but Louis Vuitton made in France. Um, the numbers are in the back. Um, I had to go to Google and search it up to see how can you tell Papillon 30 is actually real. And they said the numbers are hitting on the corner. And that is correct because the numbers are hitting in the corner. So that's how I know it's actually real. Vintage Louis Vuitton. I don't know more a lot of information. Sorry, I keep looking that way. I'm doing a live as well. Sorry, guys. But if you don't know, if a Louis Vuitton vintage is real or not, but I'm gonna tell you something right now. The reason why vintage bags are a little bit more low in price, I think is because you can tell it's vintage. Uh, the newer bags, like you saw my Louis Vuitton right here, um, is very vibrant, the leather looks or the canvas, because a lot of you guys correct me, the canvas looks very, very, very different than vintage. I would say so i feel like the newer bags are more easy to copy um because the colors look rather fake but i know for a fact my bag is real i went to the louis vuitton store and i bought it there but if i didn't know my louis vuitton was real i i would get confused because how they do louis vuitton bags nowadays is actually very very easy um the only way you can tell obviously by the numbers and also by quality like a lot of the bags that are fake they're stiff and this is very, very soft, very, very squishy, except this part, because I think they made it really stiff for the little, the little barrel situation. But it's very, very squishy, as you can see, very, very soft. You get me? It's not stiff, like, it's like, just like my Louis Vuitton bag. It's very, very soft, very, very, you know, um, it doesn't feel fake. Um, it does have, let me see. Well, it smells like old, because... You know, this lady didn't took care of it, but I mean, she took care of it actually for the most part. But I feel like if I go over it with the with the wipey, I feel like it's going to be cleaner, to be honest. But it is what it is, you guys. Uh, this is my new addition to my bag. She's very, very cute. Um, I I think it is real, honestly, because it has the logo, it has everything. As you guys can see right here, this one's fake and this is real so you can tell the difference but that is it for the video thank you so so much for stopping by for watching my papillon dirty unboxing i'm very excited to add this back to my collection um if any of you guys are expert in bags if you think it's fake then let me know down in the comments is this bag fake let me know down in the comments what makes it look fake because i don't have that much information on louis vuitton whether fake or it's real but so far it does have a serial number it has the louis vuitton made in france stamp as well and it does not look or feel mm. fake to my own information or to my own opinion because i do own louis vuitton bag in the background and obviously i can't do a comparison because the newer one which is right here it's only nine months old or ten months old so it looks really freshly freshly made and you can tell the canvas is very very new compared to this one that's literally 15 years old i think because she got it 19 
1985 87 she said so it's 87 i think damn she's like 20 30 years old is she is it really that old she said 1980 something so or 1994 well, it's basically 20 years old. This bag is over 20 years old. For, for it to be tw over 20 years old, that's actually pretty amazing. Look at the way it looks like. Um, it's actually pretty good quality. So I would think vintage canvas back then with Louis Vuitton was way, way better. So if you know anything about these bags, let me know down in the comments. Let me know if it's real or not. But if it's fake, I mean, they made a really good fake one. For her to go out of her way to damage the strap, she should have just gave me everything perfect. You know what I'm saying? But I think it is real. She had pictures of herself with the bag when the bag was in really good condition. So I think it's actually really real. But we will see. Thank you so, so much for stopping by. I will see you guys really, really soon in the next video. All right, guys. We go ahead and finish that. Okay. I'm going to do what fits tomorrow because I'm so tired. Like, it's so late and I have to go to work tomorrow. But... I'm kind of getting worried because the color is really, really different, you guys. Um, I don't know. What if it is fake? I don't think. I wish I had a leather white, but I don't even have a leather white. Mm. Oh, well. Okay, so let's check out the handles. I'm going to do this with you guys. I was going to do it in the video, but I'm so tired. So I bought two of them. And they look like that. So it's one for each handle. That's why I got it. Ooh, it's kind of pretty. Look at that. It's like a gold with leather. And I thought I thought it was going to be rather dark because this was the idea, you guys. I was going to cut the straps and add this like that. So it was going to be way longer. So I think it's going to look very different if I chop the handles and I attach this like that. You get me? Like, what do you guys think? Should I do it? Should I go for it and just chop the handles off? Because that was the main reason why I got it. Because I was going to chop the handles off. Should I do it? Take it to every retailer store. Take the fake LB charm off. It makes it look faker. Well, too bad. I like it. <laughs> I like the little LB. Um, I don't care if it looks faker. Like, I bought the bag. I put whatever I want. <laughs> Uh, pretty chain strap. Thank you, love. Cut the handles off. Yes, I heard LB stores won't tell you if it's fake or not, right? I not. I don't think. No, take it to LV. Ugh, I don't know if I. Uh, I think it's kind of embarrassing to take it to a store and just say, "Oh my God, is it fake or not?" And what if it is fake? I'd be embarrassed. <laughs> Let LB repair it. Um, girl, I ain't trying to pay more money for repairs. So my actually, there was this lady at my store. And she had kind of like a bag like this one, but it was a triangle. It was like a triangle vintage bag as well. And it was all choppy and just about to fall off. And I asked her like, oh, wow, your bag is so beautiful. She said, I've been having this bag for 25 years. And she was an older lady. I was like, wow, that is such a long time. She said, yeah, so I tried to fix it. I went to LB and you know how much they were charging me? How much? She said, they were charging me $900. $900 just to fix the little loose leather here and the straps. And I was like, what? That is a lot. She said, yeah so i'm just i'm gonna leave it like that she said like wow so they're gonna charge you basically the same amount for like a bag so i'd rather not so i'm not gonna do that you get it repaired it's worth it not no meant to see if it's a real bag at the store no meant to see if it's a real bag at the store what what your pronouns whoa nine hundred dollars yes that's what the lady told me and i was like nah that's too much girl that's too much I kind of do want to cut the straps, to be honest. I feel like it look, look cute with this. See that? Look at the vision here. But it's not going to look like a Louis Vuitton bag anymore. I wouldn't cut them off if they really bother you. Definitely do it. If they don't bother me. I think with the little straps, it looks really cute. But I kind of bought this ones. What am I going to do with these now? They're actually cute. I guess I'll put them away for now and maybe i could use them some other time any charm you put it will look nice julie thank you terry rosha thank you love the chains will look cuter right i thought it would look cute with the chains too but i mean i kind of feel bad cutting the straps as well because i feel like that's going to take his louis vuitton little look the chains will look cuter 
right i feel like okay i'm gonna think about it to see what should i do with the straps but yeah so if you who was it that said my alexi said that it looks take off this that looks fake well girl i'm keeping it <laughs> do they have brown and gold straps instead it will match it better uh no i actually was looking for brown and they did not have brown no don't cut them the scarf looks gorgeous right i think it does look cute with this i think i'm just gonna leave it like that but i'm gonna go to um coach outlet this saturday to buy longer like this is a small scarf so i want to buy a bigger scarf like a uh, chalk mixed with brown something like of the fit i don't know but looks gorgeous thank you okay i'm gonna leave them like that okay you guys bye i'm gonna go ahead cut it i'm tired i gotta shower and then you know go to sleep uh thank you so much for stopping by in my life i love you guys so so much i'm glad that you guys are very excited for me um if you guys think it's fake then it's fake i got ripped off but um it is what it is i'm actually really really happy i don't think it's fake but i'm gonna do more research on the back and i'm gonna do a video on if i think it's real or not and i'm gonna get my facts straight thank you so so much for stopping by i'll see you guys really soon in the next live bye